So one of the biggest problems with inexpensive camera monitors is that even though they're cheap and they're packed full of features, they're typically not very bright. So when you go outside to try to film something, you're gonna need to use a sunshade and even at that, they can be really, really hard to see. So in this video, I wanna talk about a new monitor that was sent to me that actually has a pretty bright screen and it still comes at a very attractive price point. So as some of you know, for the longest time, I was using this little guy. This is the ICANN VL3. I love it because of how small it is and it's really easy to put on to my camera rig and it's really inconspicuous. But the problem with this is that the brightness on this little guy only goes to about 400 nits. I was really in the market for a new video monitor and it just so happened that OC reached out to me and they wanted to see if I wanted to test out their new five inch on camera monitor. So the monitor that we're talking about is this little guy. This is the new T5 Plus from OC. Now, you may remember Caleb Pike did a video on the original T5, and that one was just packed with a bunch of features for a really attractive price point. But the big new feature with this monitor, as opposed to the original, is that this has a thousand nits of brightness. So what I wanted to do with this video is go out and use it in a real world scenario. So me and my buddy Jake went out and we filmed a little running sequence, and I used my DJI Ronin SC paired with this OC T5 Plus. I used it was in this configuration. I set up a little side handle with my DJI Ronin SC. Still love this gimbal by the way, still works and it's really cheap nowadays. And I had the OC T5 Plus mounted to the side right on this side handle here with a little swivel monitor mount. And this setup was great because I could orient the monitor to where I needed to look, but still kind of point the gimbal with the camera anywhere. So as you can see in this scene, I was running forward, but I had the gimbal pointed behind me, but I could still see my framing because I had this monitor. And we were filming in the morning hours, it was pretty bright outside. With a thousand nit brightness, I could see this monitor just fine. And what's really nice is that this monitor also comes equipped with the LUT feature, just like the original T5 did. So I installed one of the custom LUTs that I made for my Olympus camera on to this T5, which was super easy. The menus on these OC monitors are super easy to navigate. And yeah, I had my LUT installed on there, so I kind of knew what I should expose for and how the final image was gonna look. And this just really helped when I was filming that day. And I even did some low angle shots where I couldn't even see the LCD screen of my camera, but having this OCT5 mounted on to my gimbal kind of allowed me to see what I was doing, even though the camera was in a position where I couldn't even see if I was framing it properly. So let's talk about some of the physical features about this monitor, which I really like. And the first one is something that the original T5 had as well, but it's a recessed HDMI port. I really like this because when you actually plug your HDMI cord in, it's not actually exposed. So you can kind of just tuck this away and it just keeps the entire monitor setup so much cleaner. And I just hate when you have like HDMI cables, like just poking out of the side of the monitors. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. And that's something that even the like new small HD has where it's just like the HDMI cable is just like sticking out of the monitor. I can't stand that. Something else that I really like about this monitor is that it takes either Canon LPE6 batteries like you would find on most Canon cameras, or you can put your Sony NP batteries in here. I like using my Sony MP batteries when I'm on a really long shoot, but if I'm just shooting something quick, I like slapping one of the little Canon LPE6s on there because it just makes the entire monitor just a lot more lightweight and easy to handle. Some other things that this monitor has is a SD card port, so you can load your LUTs on that way. It has a headphone jack, which is great, so if your camera doesn't have a headphone jack, you can monitor your audio with this monitor. And it does come with a side swivel mount, but I don't really use those. I like to just mount my monitor on the bottom and it does have a quarter twenty tap right here. So this monitor is really jam packed with features and this is only gonna cost $145, which is just insane. A thousand nit brightness, 145 bucks. And during this week, they're having a Black Friday sale. So you can actually get this for $135. I think they're gonna start shipping in December. Now this wouldn't be a completely unbiased review if I didn't say some of the things that I didn't like about it. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is the DC power in is a USB-C port as opposed
opposed to just the standard battery ports that you would see on a monitor like this, which isn't that big of a deal. So you could just run a USB-C cable out from your V-mount and plug it into here and you could power it that way. So that could be a pro for some people or a con for others. This is also made completely out of plastic. I wouldn't drop it from like a super high distance, but ultimately it feels really well built, but it is all plastic. If you have any experience with the original T5 by OC, you should be pretty familiar with the menus. It's really easy to set up. You can set up pages with different features loaded into them. And there's just a plethora of things that you can customize with this monitor. And it's all controlled via this little red thumb dial right here. So really easy, really user friendly, I would say. And some of my favorite features are obviously the LUTs that you can import to these because when shooting an OM log 400 on my EM1 Mark II, it's great to be able to see what my final image might look like and it really helps for exposure. There's zebras, there's histograms, there's crop markers, there's anamorphic de-squeezing, everything that you would expect in a professional video monitor, you're gonna find it on this OCT5 Plus. And again, the big standout feature is that this is an inexpensive monitor with a thousand nit brightness. That's insane. So anyways, I'm gonna have links to where you can check this monitor out. If you're watching this the week of Black Friday, you wanna get a good deal, I would definitely say kick that link in the description below. You're gonna get this for 135 bucks, which is crazy. Anyways, big thanks to OC for sending me this monitor to check out. And this is definitely gonna be my daily driver when it comes to external monitors for my camera. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great week and I will see you next time. Later.